Joining us right now, one of In The Loop's top sources on the energy sector, Haig Sherman, who helps manage over $7 billion at Sally and Partners in Houston. Lucky for us, he's visiting New York today. So, Haig, nice to have you back with us. Thank you, Carol. You know, still in the news so much is what's going on with BP and Deepwater Horizon as, as the investigations and the reports come out. I mean, in terms of offshore drilling, What's the future? Then you have Mariner Energy just last week. I mean, what's the future for this industry? Well, I think the future, we, we talked about this several months ago, but if you look at the future, we have to avoid the overreaction that we had in the nuclear industry back in the 70s with Three Mile, 80s with Three Mile Island, which mm -hmm. is a significant overreaction, which really killed the nuclear industry for two decades. We have to be wise about what we, what steps we take, and I think the legislation that's proposed in the House really didn't, in my opinion, take into account the full investigation of this accident because we just got the blowout preventer recently. So mm. I think the Senate needs to consider the, the investigation before taking further action. But politics play into all of this and political will. I mean, do you think we'll see something similar to what happened with nuclear power? Do you think we'll see that deep freeze? You know, I don't think so. I mean, the, the oil and gas industry is so important to the southwestern part of the United States that I think the congressional delegations and the senators within that region will promote a more balanced policy. Obviously, there are big problems with the BP disaster that need mm -hmm. to be addressed, but some of the industry players such as Exxon are leading an initiative to, in effect, have a rescue program that's funded by some of the biggest deep water drillers. Well, give us some perspective, Hank, because I think, you know, obviously and understandably, we spent so much time on the deep water horizon because of the impact and how, how tragic that spill was. But give us some perspective. When you look at the overall industry, how often do we see accidents? Uh, is this a one in a million occurrence or, or what? Well, if you look at the Gulf of Mexico, we've been drilling in the Gulf for four decades. Mm -hmm. So if you look at this accident, it's certainly the most significant one that we've seen in the Gulf of Mexico since drilling started right. four decades ago. So, I mean, it's in it, but it is a significant accident. You had 11 people lose their lives. You had millions of barrels spew into the Gulf of Mexico and to environmentally sensitive areas. So, I mean, putting this in perspective, there's always room to improve. And I think the industry is taking steps to right. improve it. But BP's also had a spotty record as it comes to safety. Okay. Let's talk, though, about what you find interesting, and that is, I think, some of the more uh, the shallow water players, if you will. That's exactly right. And let's talk names, because you like Energy XXI? It, Energy 21, okay. yes. Hmm. If you look at Energy 21 and McMoran Exploration, they represent two of the most progressive E&P companies in the shallow water region of the Gulf. If right. you look at the Gulf, it's really divided into the shallow water area, 500 feet and less, than the deep water areas, which is really where the BP Deep Horizon was. If you look at what they're doing, they're drilling in 100 feet or less, but they're drilling down 25,000 to 29,000 feet and penetrating zones okay. that in effect are productive onshore, but also offshore. And so these represent some of the most significant finds in the Gulf of Mexico. They haven't been flow tested yet, okay. but if they flow test as expected, they could be significant. Energy 21, McMoran, they both have had great runs, though, this year, Hague. I mean, up about 75, 76 percent. You still That's, see value, though. Absolutely. If you look at Energy 21, just based on their proved reserves, their proved developed reserves, it justifies their current market capitalization. Mm. So if you look at that, you have the optionality of these deep wells in the shallow water region basically for free. So we think there's, if these wells test out and flow test as expected, and again, this is very, very deep drilling, so that's still a question mark this stock could be worth significantly more than what the market value is today. So five seconds, that's the area you would say investors should focus on at this point? Absolutely. All right, good to get your thoughts. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you, Carol.